Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here, and yes, we got to talk about the new money hitting. This is going to be the future, folks, so make sure you pay attention to this stuff. Crypto, Bitcoin, altcoin, Dogecoin, NFT, and cryptocurrency update. Find out how Bitcoin traders are able to use. You can find out how to get one Bitcoin and leverage 100. Can you imagine what you'd make if it goes up or if you could buy the other way? The leverage is swinging prices in cryptocurrency. Find out what that means to you. Which major company is starting to allow Bitcoin withdrawals? And the incredible news of the founder of Dogecoin and what he thinks about Elon Musk. I have the scoop, the skinny, the digs on Dogecoin millionaires after this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, elevate, and just, you know, get a handle on this crypto stuff, make sure you stay tuned to this channel. Also, we're giving away money here. Yes, we're going to continue to give money here. Forever is my plan. $1,900 up for grabs right now. All you got to do is subscribe, like, and comment, and push this out to other people by sharing the video. It'll help raise it up so it can give away this money. We hit 190,000 subscribers. You're getting that cash. And also, grab your stock down below. Two stocks for free, valued up to 1800 bucks when you open an account at Webull. You don't have to buy anything. This is unbelievable, and it's a limited time offer. Also, I'm gonna be raising the back to the $4,000 price on my real estate course. Don't miss out on it. $99 right now with the code BOOM for a limited time offer. We're only gonna leave this open for a little bit longer, so make sure you don't miss out on that. And to all my Patreon supporters, thank you. People ask, like, how do you afford all this stuff? It's real estate, folks. I'm gonna teach you when to buy, how to buy, uh, the whole bit. Literally, I spent $45 million learning this stuff, so don't miss out on that course. But first, reports state that the Bitcoin traders are using up to 100 to one leverage, taking excessive risk in the Bitcoin market, being forced to sell when the prices go down. Obviously, if you get wiped out, if it goes down just 1%, you're wiped out and they take your money. It's just gone, poof history, right? While this is currently only available in Asia, Robinhood doesn't allow traders to use margin for cryptocurrency like they do on other stuff. But Bitcoin, they allow professional traders to do it. So if you classify yourself as a professional trader, you can get it done on Coinbase if you're looking for leverage. According to JMP analyst Devin Ryan, quote, selling begets more selling until you come to an equilibrium on leverage in the system. What this means is when people sell, they're gonna sell more because leverage changes things, but that leverage will help balance it. But it does put a lot of like artificial liquidity in the market. He continued, quote, leverage in crypto markets, particularly on the retail side, has been a big theme for ac that accentuates the volatility because People are gambling, both sides. What do you think about the leverage Bitcoin sells and how it impacts the blockchain? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, it is the typical game. Why do you think Goldman Sachs and everybody's buying into these coins? So they can provide their clients with the coin so they can make some money off of charging them for that leverage, right? It's extra revenue as well as fees. They don't care about Bitcoin. They just care about making fee income. Meanwhile, PayPal has announced that they plan to offer Bitcoin withdrawals on their popular online payment portal. This is amazing. The platform's going to do it. PayPal head of cryptocurrency, uh, Jose Fernandez Del Puente, said, quote, the company has soon to let its users send Bitcoin and other crypto out of PayPal. That is amazing. PayPal CEO, since they're so conservative, you know, Elon Musk was part of the origination of PayPal. Uh, Dan Salman stated, quote, it's funny how circular all this stuff is. Quote, demand on cryptocurrency side has been multiple fold to what we initially expected. There's a lot of excitement. And he continued, we've been looking at digital forms of crypto and DLT for six years or so, but I thought it was earlier and I thought the cryptocurrency at the time were much more asset than they were currency. They were too volatile to be viable currency. This is very true. Well, 
my the how that how they've changed right how they've literally changed their tune they're very conservative i hope that paypal partnership will get even more people into the world of crypto as it continues to gain access across the world it's going to be very interesting i don't want you guys to miss out you should go down in the link below get your free crypto there you can get it down there there's like a ten dollar and then you can get up to 250 dollars with blackfi in the description it's there I don't push people to buy Bitcoin. They should only buy what they're willing to lose is what I always say. Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever coin, Dogecoin, always buy what you can afford to lose. That's my investment advice, which is you'll probably lose your money um, is the best way for me to say it. Make your own decision about how you feel about it. Finally, reports have stated and emerging regarding the foundation of Dogecoin. I want to say I don't give any financial advice, so none of this is meant to be financial advice. It's just updates, education, sourced articles that are down below by experts that I give you direct both the articles and the information directly to you what the sources are. Billy Markman and his thoughts on Elon Musk. Uh, fandom for the altcoin and the popular Dogecoin millionaires. After defending his support for Dogecoin on Twitter, Marcus replied, quote, thank you for saying this, end quote, <laughs> right? Well, when asked about his thoughts on making people millionaires over his meme coin, he replied, quote, one day you may sell, you may make a lot or not, who knows? To be clear, I don't care if people sell at all. People should literally do what they think is best for them at all times. With so many eyeballs on Dogecoin, literally the fourth most valuable cryptocurrency continues to make waves and stir up the blockchain and get people excited and dreaming about the potential of what could be the actual cryptocurrency that gets the momentum, the love and the acceptance for exchange. Reality is the dollar is not backed by anything. We just invent it and we put it out there. It's literally a debt instrument. So we can use anything if we all agree to like trade it back and forth. So Dogecoin is no more. It's just as possible to become like a dollar as not. So it's like could go either way. It depends on what you decide. Literally, literally, it's what you, me and everybody around us decides whether it has value or not. It is a market. It is unbelievable, though, because it's decentralized. There's no controlling it. It's immutable, can't change it. And what's in your wallet is in your wallet. Nobody can take it from you, not even the government, unless they have access to it. If you found this entertaining and informative, I'm Andrew Cartwright, stay safe out there. Please subscribe, like, and comment. If you've watched it this far, please give me a little love.